Tim here and welcome back to Budget Bronco. Today we're in the interior of the Bronco. We're going to be doing an audio system upgrade. One of the really common complaints from new Bronco owners is that the standard six speaker system that I have in my base Bronco uh, and a lot of other trim levels just really kind of stinks. Um, and you can spend thousands of dollars upgrading your audio system with subwoofers and amplifiers and high-end speakers. That's not what we're going to do today. This is a budget audio upgrade. We're going to be installing four new speakers, two in the uh, front dash panels and two back in the rear. And uh, also a neat little hack uh, that you can do via the Forescan programming system to unlock additional power from the rear speakers that I'm going to try out. At the end of the video, I'll uh, do a test. I'll show you clips, audio clips of the uh, stock speaker system versus the upgraded speaker system, and we'll do a, a real world, world comparison to see how it matches up. So let's go. Let me show you the products I'm going to be using for my install. Uh, all of these products I'll link in the description. Starting with the speakers, I'm using the Infinity Reference. 4032 CFX. There's other equivalent four inch speakers out there. Uh, I chose these ones mostly because I just got an incredible deal on them on Amazon. Um, I see other people use the uh, Kicker brand, uh, all of which are going to be fairly equivalent for about that same price point and a lot better than the stock ones. Let me show you why things are so much better than the stock ones. Just look at the two of them. Uh, you see some immediate differences. The Infinity has uh, the tweeter, whereas the stock speakers do not. It's just one piece. Uh, this is just cheap paper material. Uh, you can see the housings are made of steel versus the stock is just all plastic. Look at the magnets as well. You can see the difference in the size of the magnets. Just to show that in um, greater detail, I'll weigh them so you can see the stock speaker weighs in at about 340 grams, whereas the Infinity one is uh, 540 grams. So that extra magnet uh, is just going to, beefiness of that magnet, strength of the magnet is just going to allow you to move more air, and that's going to make a big difference in the quality of the sound as well. Uh, we're also going to use these base blockers. The reason you use base blockers, in this case I'm using a 300 uh, uh, hertz base blocker, the front speakers are wired in series, uh, the dash speakers are wired in series to the kicker speakers down by your feet. Uh, those kicker speakers will pick up most of the bass, the low frequency bass that you're going to want, um, and there's no reason to force that bass through the speakers that we're installing uh, on the dash as well. So you use these bass blockers. That will allow the Infinity speakers to just focus on the higher end sounds, uh, and they'll be able to do so more efficiently. That's why we use these bass blockers. And lastly, in order to make the connections, you're going to need uh, two different sizes of uh, terminals, terminal connectors, uh, a smaller size and a large size. These small ones uh, fit into this side of the speaker terminal and the larger size fit into the uh, bigger side of the speaker terminal. And that's all the things that we'll need to, uh, to make these installs. So let's get started. Okay, we're in the back. First step you want to is remove the cover from the speaker. We're gonna use a kind of a standard pry tool. Uh, this slot right around the back tool just fits in there. And it's not too hard to pry off. There's four clips, basically one at each corner. So once you get one corner up, the other should come off pretty easy. Three. Move this seat belt out of the way a little bit there. That's four. Cover comes off. Then there's just two screws. screws that frees up the speaker and then a clip here on the back of the speaker the speaker is free let's talk about polarity on these rear speakers this is the right rear speaker the positive speaker wire is this violet colored one and the violet colored wire goes through this connector and on the other side uh, there's two wires a black with a white stripe and just a regular black. So the uh, violet equates to the black with white stripe 
over here on the rear left, similar idea, except the positive is this brown wire, which equates to black with white stripe. So on both of these rear speakers, it's the black with the white stripe that we're going to uh, use as the positive wire. So uh, when we make the connections, that'll be important. So now that we know uh, which wire is the positive, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make our cuts here. So just cut that connector right off as close as you can get to the connector. We'll separate these out a little bit to give us some working room. And we will uh, splice off, uh, strip off a little bit of the wire in the end. Don't need too much. Okay, now we are going to crimp on. Um, we've got two connector types, the large connector that goes on the positive terminal of the speaker and the skinnier connector that goes on the negative speaker. So we're gonna make sure we put the bigger one on the positive wire, which is the one with the white stripe. There we have it, all ready to connect the speaker. Okay, so on most speakers, they're gonna come with four tabs um, and you only need these two. In fact, the other ones are gonna get in the way a little bit. So I cut those off with a Dremel tool, the two that you don't need. And some speakers, you might just be able to pull them off with uh, a pair of pliers by bending them back and forth. Uh, so now that I've got the tabs off, the speaker is ready to have the connectors uh, plugged in. There's two sizes, the small one. And the large one. And then that's ready to be screwed back in. So now where you can put the speaker back connected with the same screws. and put the cover back on. Everything I'm gonna show you here is on the front right speaker, but you just repeat the exact same process for the left speaker. So first you need to pry up the grill. You're gonna need something really thin uh, I started with a regular pry tool and it didn't want to fit in that slot very easily. So I'm using this screwdriver just to get things up. Um, and once you have that first pin clicked up, then you can use a pry tool for the rest of them. I think it's easiest and best if you start on the glass side of things. Uh, use that pry tool. There's five clips. You're in there pretty good. Do those ones closest to the window first. Uh, then it should come out real easy. 
uh, then you're going to need a, a ratchet. This is a seven millimeter bolt. Two bolts, easy. And the speaker then will just lift out. And then uh, a clip on the back right there. And the speaker is free. One thing to note, before you put the speaker down in the hole, it won't fit very well uh, because this cable connector is in the way. If you reach down in there and just grab it and pull that out, it'll allow you to move it to the side and then you'll have enough clearance for the speaker to fit in there well. Now that we have the old speaker removed, we have access to the connector plug. Uh, I use a sharp pair of teeny scissors to cut back this uh, felt tape loom a little bit just to give us a little bit more of the wires to work with. And now that I've got that tape cut back, I'm um, going ahead and snip off that connector. Get as close to the plastic as you can just to have the most room to work with. And then I will go ahead and splice, uh, I'm sorry, not splice, um, cut off a little bit on each of those two wires. Don't need too much, just a little bit. There's one. Now, it's important, again, uh, just like we did in the back, to make sure we have the right polarity. In the front right, it's this uh, violet and gray wire that is the positive wire. The other one is yellow and gray. So here on the front right, it's the violet and gray colored wire that's positive. And over on the other side, uh, the left front, the positive is a green and blue wire. So again, we make sure that we keep the positive uh, straight. I've got the speaker all wired up. It's easier to do this outside of the vehicle. On the positive side of the speaker is where you want to connect the uh, base blocker. I've wrapped the base blocker in a little bit of foam just in case things bounce around in there. I don't want them rattling around. Uh, so I've got connector, terminal connector to the big side of the speaker, the big side of the speaker, positive uh, side is where you want to use the base blocker, and I'll connect that positive side to the violet and gray wire. Uh, the other side is similarly wired up with the small connector, just with a little lead wire to uh, make it easier to work with, and this will go to the negative side. Positive to the violet. Make sure that's nice and tight. Yep, that's not going anywhere. And then on the other one. And I'll check to make sure that's also nice and tight. Good. Those are both super snug, not leaving, not going anywhere. Then we can reinsert the speaker. And now with the speaker uh, back in place, just put these uh, same bolts back in. And finally, the cover. Put this side in first is uh, what I found works best. That's it. Now that we've got the speakers installed, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how you can make an edit 
uh, using Forescan to unlock additional volume out of the rear speakers, which is one of the reasons why the stock setup uh, sounds really bad. Uh, a note on Forescan, you really shouldn't be messing around with this unless you're experienced and comfortable with computer programming in general. There are things you can do in Forescan to really mess up your Bronco. Uh, the thing I'm gonna show you here today, do at your own risk. Um, I have done it and it's working fine, but I'll, I'll show you the basics. Um, this is not a super deep Forescan tutorial because a lot of people have already uh, done those. Um, but basically what you wanna do is with Forescan running, uh, you go to the set of uh, different modules that are available. And the one that you want to uh, edit here is the ACM module. So you click on the ACM module, uh, click the play button. It always gives you this warning there. And uh, the specific line that you want to change is the very first one, 727 uh, This reads 3800. It used to read 382 b and i've changed it to 3800 uh, after you make those changes you write and then you can exit out um, so that's the change that i made uh, in the next portion of the video i'm going to show you uh, uh, some uh, some recordings that i made of the stock speakers the upgraded speakers and the upgraded speakers with the four scan change so you can see exactly the difference um, and i think you'll be impressed there really is uh, a nice improvement i uh, also want to give a shout out to my buddy ronan conroy uh, a really talented musician who provided the music that i use in the next test video so check it out <laughs> today for budget bronco thanks for watching uh, hopefully you found that tutorial and speaker upgrade process uh helpful it's been really great uh noticing a lot of benefit uh so thanks for watching if you like what i'm uh, putting out hit that subscribe button uh, hit the like button uh appreciate any comments let me know what you think of the upgrade also let me know what you think of ronin's music and i'll be happy to pass on comments to him as well thanks for watching